what you guys got another video here for you how to get windows 11 right now if you're one of those people that just want it right away then this video is for you you're going to need to make sure your computer is compatible get into your bios this is an intel based system i'll show you this and i'll show you amd as well secure boot mode needs to be enabled you need to have this enabled for it to install onto the system or for it to work also csm support needs to be disabled you need to have those two criteria done first go into your settings uh, on this one it's in miscellaneous under settings go in here and you will see an option for intel platform trust technology ptt this needs to be enabled on an intel based system so make sure that it's enabled coming down to trusted computing you will need to go into here and you need to enable the security device support here this needs to be enabled and this will be your TPM 2.0 support. It needs to be TPM 2.0 uh, support for these. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to install it. And that basically will look something like this. Now, if your computer is over five years old and it doesn't support uh, TPM 2.0, then you're not going to be able to install Windows 11. CSM support needs to be disabled. That's important. You can't have this enabled. It needs to be turned off and secure boot needs to be enabled like i said before this is the same criteria for amd systems except you won't have a ptt on an amd system it'll be f uh, tpm i'll quickly show you that on an amd system but once you've got these set up you can push f10 and save your settings and then i'll show you exactly what it will look like once we get back to the desktop and i'll show you uh, before you can go ahead and install windows 11 so on an amd system you'd get into the bios and go to your settings here now again you would need csm disabled and secure boot enabled like i showed you before and again you'd need to go into security trusted computing here and you will see a ftpm uh, which needs to be enabled security device support that's off you need to turn it on and enable this and this will enable the ftpm feature on an amd system again you would also have to go into the settings and turn off uh, csm uh, support if that's enabled and you would also need to enable secure boot in here i'm not going to go through that again i've already shown you that on a intel based system but you'd need to go through that same process for amd okay click yes to save your settings and get back to the desktop of your computer once you're at the desktop of your computer i'm going to show you how to basically test to see whether tpm 2.0 is enabled on your system right click on the start button and go to device manager you should see trusted platform module 2.0 here if you don't see that then you've not enabled it properly and it's not on your system if you don't see trusted platform uh, 2.0 and you see 1.2 or something like that then your pc is not compatible you can also go into the search box and type tpm.msc and you can open this up and it should tell you that it's all running and ready for use and that means you are ready to install an upgrade to windows 11 so you can check out your settings here i'll also give you a couple of other places to check just to make sure that your system is compatible and uh, tpm 2.0 is running on your system and it's ready for the installation so you don't have any issues so you can also go down to start settings inside here go to update and security in here you can check for your uh, windows security here click on windows security inside here we're going to go down to device security click on this one here and you should now see security processor uh, listed down here click on here and this will give you the information uh, for your tpm here you can see here it says status ready to go so we're ready to uh, install our windows 11 and if this is all set correctly as you can see here then you're good to go here this gives you all the information that you need about tpm and what version you're running and stuff like that now i'll also show you where you can do it in powershell now if you've already come to the conclusion that yours is compatible you can skip all this part and go through the uh, setting up an installation process of windows 11 i'll show you how to do that in a second but you can go to PowerShell here, run this administration, and then go to get-tpm, and this will give you all of the information telling you it's true and it's running. If you did this and it says false, 
it means it's not running on your system and you've not done it correctly and you need to go back into the VAS to make sure all those settings are correct. Okay, so next we're going to get Windows 11 installed. So go Start and Settings on your system. Go to Update and Security and you will see an area called Windows Insider Program. Because this is an early release, this is the only way you're going to legitimately get uh, Windows 11. So go in here and click on this and say Get Started and choose an account to get started. You will need a Microsoft account to set this up. Once you've got your account set up, uh, you will then be able to choose which option. Now, at the moment, it's in Dev Channel. This is the channel that is available for you to download Windows 11 right now and upgrade your system. You can roll back at any time. You can opt out and do all that stuff. But again, don't do this on your main system. If you have got mission critical data on there, and you are using the dev channel version because you could end up losing your data. It's, uh, you know, basically a really sort of risky build to put on your main system. But if you're okay with that, then by all means, go ahead and choose the dev channel version and get installed on your system. Once you've done this, go to start and settings again, update and security, and you will now see Windows 11 Insider Preview coming down onto your system. Bear in mind, this is going to upgrade your Windows 10 system to a Windows 11. You can see we have selected the dev channel inside our Windows Insider program. I'm linked my account to this, so it's now uh, basically updating my system here. Now, if you're fortunate enough like me, I've got other PCs, which if I've got issues with this, I can always put another PC on and use that PC. But if this is your only PC and you are using the dev version at the moment, then be very careful because these can be very buggy. So we are now going to install this. You can see it's going through the install process. It's downloaded it and it's now installing on our system. So I'm just letting that go ahead and do its thing. It does take a fair bit of time to come down and install on your system. So be patient. And again, as I said, back up your data before you're doing any of this stuff if it's on your main system. Now, you'll probably find there's going to be quite a few updates being pushed out for this Windows 11 Insider Preview build, and that's because they're constantly working on it and fixing little minor bugs, and then it will go into the beta stage, and then it will be released to the general public. But you can see here, this is now telling me that it needs a restart. It's finished the uh, installation, and it needs to restart the system. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the system here. You can set a a timer for when you want to uh, restart your system. I'm going to do it right away. I'm going to show you here live. Click on this restart now and it's rebooting my system and it's going to go ahead and start to update to Windows 11. I'll skip through this stuff a little bit quickly here because it does take a fair bit of time, but you'll get the general idea of what's going to happen to your system. It will restart and uh, boot up a few times during this process, so be patient. Don't turn off the computer. And once this is complete, you will get almost there and you should then get to your desktop. And you can now see that we are running Windows 11 on this system. Now, this version is a newer version than the one that was leaked on the Internet. So you're better off using this version and being connected to the Insider program, which means it can be constantly updated. And if you want to be a tester uh, with testing this software, then by all means, join the Windows Insider program. Now, of course, if you don't want to join the Windows Insider program, you can wait until the official release of Windows 11 as long as your computer is compatible. Also, what I'll do in the next video is show you an in-depth view of the latest Windows 11 so you can see what some of the features are like with this official dev release from Microsoft. Now, I'll also be doing more Windows 11 uh, tutorials in the up and coming weeks, so I will put them in their own playlist. Uh, sometime today or tomorrow, so you can watch all those at your own leisure. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Bye for now.